Alrighty, it is 6 a.m. and I'm actually pulling out of the driveway here at the Bailey house after a very successful supply run down the mountain which ended up working out better for me on one side because the contractor I was supposed to meet who's supposed to be coming out and doing my dirt work and leveling things and building my sheds and office can't seem to find anyone who can take care of his truck so that could be construed as me calling in the energy that is my life I mean so many I don't try to ever tell anyone that they should believe as I do I just try to share how I believe <laughs> and while opposites may attract, sometimes like attracts as well, because we do live in a duality reality. It's just that way. Now, that part, yeah, anyone who wants to deny that, I'm going to say I'm sorry that you're that dense, that you can't even recognize this you know nobody gets it right all the time no one gets it good all the time uh, there's always an ebb and a flow period the end so anyway it's nice and warm in my car the Sun should be shining by the time I get out to Jefferson according to the predictions I have about three hours of sunshine before the clouds come back so we'll see So predictions are correct. I have sunshine and mud. So I'm gonna play in the mud. Okay. So I fixed this last time I was out here. But as you can see, it wasn't fixed. Why? Because bolts came out. Which let bars loose. Which is why this needs to be a more permanent, stable structure. And I'm willing to pay people to learn. You can earn while you learn. Which is, you know, how I spent pretty much my entire, okay. These are clearly not happy, even though they only get morning light. Of course, that could be frostburn from the snow because I had to leave them alone out here. Columbines. I think I'm going to trade them out. And between the wind and the snow, this literally crashed down. So I'm fighting with it right now. <laughs> because this is how it is every time I have to leave and then come back. But look, the tulips made it. They're a little flat, but they still made it. And of course, this had the lid on it, so I didn't get to get any more water. 
And since the roof crashed, this is probably soaking wet. Yep. <sighs> Why is it so hard to find young people willing to work? I don't understand it. Oop, this one is flooded. Which means that one is probably flooded as well. Okay. So this is what's left after the melting. I mean, seriously, if you're 16 years old and $12 an hour is not worth your time, good luck surviving the real world. Because that's what you're going to make when you don't have any experience. I'm offering experience. I'm offering you the opportunity... To get experienced. You know, life, in, this is life. This is real life. Well, you know, unless you want to be another sad sack sitting around. Oh, wow. I'm just asking for assistance, and I'm willing to pay for it. I'm not asking for any work that I think is worth more than $12 an hour. Just a little help. Help! I just realized I didn't open that, which means I left it open. it! The other thing I need to stop forgetting. Because a clever deer can still find its way over this fence, regardless of the things that I've done to prevent that and, you know, make it a little more difficult for them. Which leaves this side of the yard vulnerable to whatever they may or may not do. <laughs> or, well, may do. So, anywho. Here we go. Or rather, here I go. This one is the nearest. It's a honeysuckle. I'm going to try to grow a honeysuckle up here. Don't know if it'll work, but I'm going to try.